need from us. Yes, There's sir. no financial commitment no. from us. We would love to take any financial commitment you'd like to donate. But you need a <laughs> funding company. And we are a 501c3. I would presume you also want us to endorse the program. Yes. We would like your endorsement. We would like your help identifying the correct employers, right, the ones that you believe will step up about the philosophy of the program sure. and not just think, oh, it's a chance to get either good PR or free, you know, cheap labor, that they're willing to step up about the, that it's their way of contributing to the future of the community, not just <coughs> their bottom line or whatever, sure. although it's good for their bottom line. I think and it's a great the, initiative because you've got to get all kids to want to spend on their school. Right. And then you, if they got to get the basics, but then they need, if they got a job or something to go to, the thing is, going on in my mind as we're talking, it, it's difficult in, in manufacturing plants and things like that to have to turn out and work for five, yeah. five, five, five and things like that. But it doesn't mean it can't be done. I mean, it's just it's just a little harder uphill or something like that. But I was thinking if we had some some companies that had peace and things like that, mm -hmm. it might have been good or something like that where they can come in and they can do it, they can make a contribution. And then the peace board can do it. Got some of the kids on, but they can make more money if they produce more products and things like that. Well, that's, that's what you need. And hopefully, it will spread back to the other kids that's not doing well. Right. Because they do. They become like we start, I start getting calls from friends of the kids that are in the program across the, the state um, saying, Well, how can I get involved in that? Because they always, you should see the change that happened with the kids. And anything we can do to enhance graduation rates from the nation. Well, I, I need to explain that the kids that we target will not typically help graduation rates. What they will help is dropout rates. Because they're not going to graduate on time, if at all, if we don't help, right? And if we have them half a day, then they're it's going to yeah, be hard to... If we can get them educated to get them school. Right. That's then we're going to get them graduated. Just not, you know, schools count their graduation rate if the kid graduates with their cohort. So these kids are going to graduate, they just might not graduate with their freshman class that they started with. So officially, statewide, on the statistics, it won't show up, but the graduation rate will increase. But who shows up in the production line? Well, the right. dropout rate the will dropout actually rate. decrease. Right, right. Yep. that's what I'm saying. Yep. The dropout rate will decrease. Right. The graduation rate until, I mean, we have 100 kids in Valdosta, the graduation rate's going to change too. Sure. But initially, it's going to be mostly seen in the dropout rate. Does anyone else have any questions or comments on this? I, program? I have just one. I guess I, so. It does, I'm assuming, add to the number of years it takes to get out of high school. Is that an issue, or the, most of the parents are cool with that? The well, that remember, the kids we're targeting are behind our red. Okay, so people They're are cool just with that. statistically, I, I, I've always been a teacher in inner city schools. They're going to age out. Right, because they're going to get too old for their peer, the other kids they're working with. They're they're going to give up themselves, or they're going to have to go to work because they have to help the family. So these aren't the kids that are on track to graduate. So by them leaving now, they will get they can get elective credit if the school works it out through work-based learning. So they can get some credit while they're at work. Okay, and we do encourage the employers to help with tutors. Um, we sent all the kids to summer school to help them get called up. We, they did summer school online at DCA to help them get you know, back up. So we do encourage that the workplace, and typically they will, because they, like we said, adopt the kids anyway. They'll do whatever they can to get them called up, but we're not targeting the ones that are only one or two credits short. We're targeting the ones that we're gonna lose. Now, and it has been an issue with some schools, because schools these days are so about graduation, 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 and they think, well, they'll never catch up if we let them, let them leave half a day early. Well, they're not going to catch up anyway. Let's and that mentality is changing anyway because right. at Valdosta High School, they're going toward online courses to help right. students in that very position that will allow them to work as well. So Right. And that's what we did. It's not all the kids had computers at home, so they, during the summer, they came and worked a few hours, and then they had a safe, quiet place at DCA to work on their summer school classes. Um, so they still make some money or with some because now they have an eight hour day instead of a three or four hour day, right? And so they split it up work 
and school. And one of our kids graduated this year because, with her class, because of that summer school. She took three classes over the summer. Any, any other questions, comments? Is this a, um, an effort that we actually need to take a formal vote on? No, just for the group, the community business and industry partnership, maybe we want to let the state of work some communities and we need people. So now I don't believe we need a formal vote. This will be part of our existing industry program. And I presume everyone is on board with this. And we do have a budget to do things like that. So we will have to do that. Okay. Yes, All right. And Commissioner Beatty, with all, you know, we talk, I talked to Andrea about Commissioner Beatty maybe coming down and talking to a group of employers. You know, he can talk anybody in the sense anything, so um, he's very that way. And then I have to come behind and get the details fixed. <laughs> but um, we can do that if that's a uh, possibility. And, and that's what we're thinking. When we host this lunch, it will be Commissioner Bank. Okay. And uh, another thing, we had a meeting with Home Depot, and Home Depot is targeting Valdosta because they have a new facility here, am I correct? Yes. Um, and so they won't, they cannot hire 16 year olds, but what they have agreed in, in they have, there's nothing written in sign. But we have these leadership adventure weekends where we take the kids on a, like, to keep on a, to like 4 H camp. Um, remember, these are kids that have never had s'mores. We had one girl that liked camp better because she had a bed, and at home she didn't have a bed. So these are kids that have never been in a kayak or a canoe or whatever. Um, they have agreed to sponsor locally the Leadership Adventure Weekends for the other the sites that we establish to, as their contribution. And then they believe that they will then, that, that community like Valdosta, will then have a much more um, skilled talent pool because those kids, when they turn 18, will have the possibility to be, able to be hired. So there's different ways for companies, that, what I'm trying well, to we, say, is different got, ways for companies to get involved. We got involved with lots of... I guess we need to make sure we don't uh, uh, well, we'll make that. one we'll bad and not the other or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. We'll do That's we'll the commissioner's everybody. politics. Yeah, we'll target and we'll, we'll make sure we get everybody invited. Dealers. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's at least there's some areas where these kids can fit, probably. Yeah. Because they're going to use them for a while. Right, we have a lot of potential um, and a lot of industries that have. So my card is in the folder that I gave everybody. Um, the website, if you want to kind of browse more on your own, is um, also written on the folder, it's gppartnership.org. Um, and it explains like the different, what businesses and different tracks kind of what we do. Um, we also have middle school program, but that's not with employers, so that's not what I, I didn't really bring that up. We also have a ninth grade to kind of help transition ninth graders and kind of ha have a feeder, right, to when they get turned 16. But um, what we need first in Valdosta is employers. So that we can get those that don't want to have sites, but want to get part of it, be part of it, and maybe help with other parts of the program, like the middle schoolers. And, but, you know, because they, their system doesn't allow for 16 year olds or something, but they want to be part of it. Thank you for your time. Call me or email me if you have a question that comes up. If you have a really, the school system's ready to go, so as soon as you know of any businesses that you think um, deserve a one-on-one -on -one meeting, I'm happy to come back down or bring this commissioner. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you.